It is always easiest to edit objects instead of individual stitches, but there are times when editing the individual stitches is necessary because you can't edit the object. The stitch edit feature in the software lets you edit single stitches, a range of stitches, or several stitches by selecting the needle points to edit. You have to switch to design view and not be an artistic view in order to do a stitch edit. You also will want to activate needle points. That way you can see the individual needle points of each object. Also zoom in for accuracy. One way to edit stitches is to add stitches. You want to make sure that stitch edit is activated and then you will click on a needle point. There is a plus sign and all the stitches before that plus sign are red, stitches after the plus sign are black. Move the mouse to where you want to add the stitch and right click and you'll see that a stitch has been added. You can use the forward arrow key to go to the next point where you would like to add a stitch. Right click again to add that stitch. Use the right arrow key to go to the next point and right click again to add the stitch. A practical application for inserting stitches is to insert stitches to fill a gap in an object. These inserted stitches are part of the object, but the inserted stitches will be lost if the stitches have to regenerate. This will occur if you resize the design. So you should always save stitch editing at the end of creating or editing a design. You can also move a stitch or a group of stitches. Again, where possible, reshape is a better option for changing the shape of an object. You may wish to move individual stitches to make a better looking blanket stitch. Select the stitch you want to move and then drag to a new location and click. And you can see the blanket stitch is shortened. If there is another stitch that you want to move, click on that stitch and then drag to where you would like that to move and click again. And then repeat the process to change the stitches around a sharp point for blanket stitch objects. Again, it's a click drag to the new location and click again and the stitch will move. Remember this extra outline that you see is the outline of the object. If it's easier you can deactivate show outlines and it may be easier to see the stitches that need to be moved. This time let's move a group of stitches. You can select a group of stitches in many ways. One way is to drag a bounding box around stitches. All the stitches that turn blue are selected stitches. You can also select one stitch and then hold down the control key and select individual stitches. If you zoom in, it's easier to see what has been selected. All the blue stitches have been selected. You can also select a range of stitches by clicking on one stitch and hold down the shift key and click on another stitch. All stitches in between the first and the last have been selected. I'll drag a bounding box around the stitches, then click and drag the stitches to a new location. Click again to activate the change. You can also delete stitches. Again, needle points are still showing Stitch Edit is activated. You can either select a single stitch or a group of stitches to delete. I'll drag a box around selected stitches and then press Delete. Let's switch to Artistic View to see the effect. You can see by editing individual stitches you can make changes in your design. You will not use Stitch Edit much for pure art files. It is easiest and best to make changes through Reshape, but you may use Stitch Edit for non-art files.